Hello everybody, it's me Ghost Critic, I'm back with a new comic book day pull list and it was potentially going to be quite a short week this week, I only had four books on my pull list but there were a slew of new number ones that came out today, however I wasn't I wasn't that interested in a lot of them. They weren't that tempting to me. So of all the books that I saw that were coming out this week, predominantly from Image, um, I only picked up one that um, I was like, mm, let's give that a go. Um, but please let me down, know down in the comment section what new number ones that you've been picking up this week. Um, I'd love to hear what you've taken a chance on. Um, there's not really a lot of news to speak of. Um, obviously, Monday was my comic book review video of the last week's com comics. Um, quite a lot to say in a short amount of time. Um, I just managed to do it. Thank you to everyone, as always, who watched that and commented and thumbed it up, etc, etc. Um, I'm kind of in a bit of a slump at the moment for making videos. Uh, those extra ones that I do on Friday. Um, as usual, it's, it's lots of ideas that I want to do, but it's just plain old lethargy work, sapping all my energy, and just really wanting to come home, plonk my ass on the sofa, and just veg out. Um, so, I'm sorry. Um, hopefully this um, funk will leave soon uh, and leave me with a little bit more energy and vibrancy to the proceedings and perhaps Friday videos will come back soon. Um, but for now, if you get one, Thank you, lucky stars. Um, I don't know really what else to say. Uh, I have lots of thoughts currently about what's going on in kind of like the comic book world in general. Um, uh, but are they thoughts that I really want to put down on a video? And inevitably, it's kind of like, what is the point? Um, there's a lot of voices out there. They all seem to be incredibly angry. I'm not angry, I'm just a little bit disillusioned right now. So I'm just going to do what I've been doing, showing you my comic books and as much as possible, trying to put a nice little positive spin on it. So I hope you stick around and still watch. Let's have a look at the comic books that we picked up this week. Like I said, I've got five of them. Um, <clears throat> we're going to kick off with Image this week, I think, and straight into that new number one that I picked up. And of all the new number ones, can anyone guess what I might have picked up? Um, I don't know if you'd be surprised or not. Uh, Juke Joint, um, written by T. Franklin, um, Aletha E. Martinez, Shari Chankhama, and Taylor Esposito. Um, I remember, I think it was probably Image Expo, um, either the beginning of this year or last year when they were um, advertising all these. Um, this kind of looked interested to me, set in the kind of like jazz era, so I was already kind of, uh, you know, kind of invested in that kind of era of, um, of time. Uh, and then they kind of threw in these women who seemed to be... Um, well, you can see from the cover, The Devouring Men. Um, we'll give it a go and let's see if it makes it onto my pull list. Uh, the other image comic this week, Brian K. Vaughan and Cliff Chang's Paper Girls. We have made it to issue 25. Um, it feels like this should be much, much further on, but um, it isn't. Uh, I would still, I would still kind of like to see this wrap up now um, and for Brian K. Vaughan to, you know, wrap it up, do what he wants to do with these, these girls, whether it's put them back right in their time era or put them out into the future doing good things. Um, I don't know. Um, I do like it when it comes out. It has kind of ended up being a habit of getting in singles, as I've said previously. <clears throat> I'm not the kind of guy who swaps 
Uh, if I've started getting singles, I won't swap to trade and vice versa. If I've been buying a comic book in trade, I won't then go to singles. It's got to be one or the other. So I guess that's kind of why I've stuck with Paper Girls and single issues instead of um, perhaps moving on to trade where reading it as a kind of batch of issues, it may feel it may feel like it runs more smoothly rather than it being kind of juddery kind of storytelling and seemingly not going anywhere um, but I do like it I do like it um, on to DC <coughs> issue number three some good light-hearted comic book fun with the Super Sons Adventures of the Super Sons uh, this 12 issue maxi series from uh, Peter Tomasi uh, I've loved the last two issues again it's kind of got that nostalgic DC feel of, of years gone by it's just there for fun for fun you know comics fun funny pages all that good stuff uh, and it's just it's just a riot to read um, I, I'm kind of losing verbs and adjectives to call this because I always call it the same thing it feels youthful it's vibrant it's it's colorful it's entertaining it's light-hearted all that good stuff and and then, like I say uh, Peter Tomasi writes a really good story he kind of threw us for a loop at the end of the last issue when he kind of split Superboy in two with the whole blue and red Superboy which kind of harken back to I think probably the late 90s early 2000s Superman storyline of the same ilk uh, we'll see how he carries that on uh, one book I'm very much looking forward to uh, reading because the first one was an absolute blast. Uh, the Dreaming issue number two from Simon Spurrier, uh, part of this whole Sandman universe that started. Uh, we're still waiting on issue one for Lucifer and um, Books of Magic. Uh, so, But issue two of, of The Dreaming is already coming out. Um, you, if you haven't heard my thoughts on this, go check out the video I did just specifically on this. Um, I ranted and raved about it. It was fantastic. I'm hoping for more of that from issue two, and I'm sure we will get it. <coughs> uh, finally, only the one book from Marvel this week, after having a, a whole slew of them last week. It's Mark Wade and Jesus Says, Doctor Strange, issue number six. And um, I don't think I got a chance to speak about issue five because I think I was on holiday and I kind of skipped the comic book review of, of the issue. Um, but it ended very strangely, the whole Doctor Strange in space deal, because it, apparently it might not be Stephen Strange who's been in space because... We've got a Stephen Strange still in the Sanctum Sanctorium um, with the old ghost dog bats. Um, so what the hell's going on? What's Mark Wade up to? Very intrigued about that. Um, so we're, I guess we're slapped back down to earth, no longer on our space adventure. And um, hopefully more clues will be revealed to what the hell is going on. Um, so these were my books this week. Um, let me know what you've been picking up, what you've been um, uh, raving about yourself. Tell me down there in the comments section. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and if you are new and you don't want to miss out on any videos that may or may not turn up, uh, please hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you will know the minute a video is uploaded. Thank you all for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye bye.